Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use InVideo. Basically, InVideo is an online editing software, and for using it, you don't have to download. You need to go to the official website of InVideo.io and can use it. Here are some benefit of using InVideo. Create videos with text prompt. And if I scroll down further, you will see some additional features of InVideo. And for using InVideo, you don't need any kind of experience in video editing. Let's figure out some feature of InVideo. You can see InVideo Studio, it's online video editor. You can make Instagram reels, as well as intro and outro, and also can make birthdays video by using it. And here are some templates of InVideo, business video templates, YouTube videos, slideshow, outro, intro, and some other templates. Let's try to create an account on InVideo. If you are new, then tap on this option, sign up. But if you already have an account, then tap on this option, login. I will tap on this option to sign up. Because my account was already logged in, so that's why the page has been redirected to this. But if you are new, then it will ask few questions like, who are you? Why you want to use InVideo? And where did you hear about us? And after answering all the questions, you will be redirected to the same page as me. Here, take a look on the left side of computer screen, dashboard, my project, and thrash. In dashboard, you will see these options, templates, AI text to video, stock media, and editor. And in my projects, you will see your recent project on which you recently worked on. And on draft, there will be some draft project which you were using and didn't complete. So there are in draft and you can continue with them where you left. And in export, you will see your those project which you exported from InVideo to PC. Here is the option thrash. Here you will see your deleted projects, and the thrash will be empty after a month. It's usable if you mistakenly deleted a project so you can recover that in thrash. And take a look on the right side. Here is the option create new. These options are same as in the dashboard, and here is my profile. In this profile section, you can move to your profile or to dashboard or to your projects, and also can see about your purchasing details. And on the last, you can log out from InVideo. Let's try to create something in InVideo. So that's why I am going to the dashboard and tapping on the option template, because we will use a template in video. On the left side, you can see some filters, like you want to search for a video which you want in landscape or in square or in portrait. Landscape videos are usable for long form video, especially for YouTube, and portraits are for Instagram or for TikTok. And here is the option type. This feature will help you to search a template on a specific niche. I will select the types of sales and offer. And in industry, I will search for travels. The benefit of using filter is you will get the exact templates from InVideo. And here my search result. Now let's search for a template. And remember, you cannot use all the templates because some templates need membership of InVideo. If you don't have, then you can't use it, but most are free to use. And I think this template is better for using, so let's open it. You can also change the aspect ratio of this templates, like this. Now it's changed to portrait. But I will let it be on landscape. Because I'll use it for my YouTube channel. Tap on the option, use template. On the top, you can see the options storyboard, editor, collaborate. And on the left side, you can see the option upload videos, images, music, text, logo, elements, and templates. And here is the timeline of my video. And in this timeline, you can edit everything, each part and element of video. If you want to edit something, then simply tap on that scene from timeline. Now take your mouse cursor to that element. Just for now, I'll change this name. After tapping on it, on the left side, you can see the same text which you select from the video. Now change it. So I change it to Sydney, and on the top you can see the fonts. You can also change the font by tapping on it and select the font. This one is the font size. You can increase it or make it smaller by changing these numbers. And with this, you can also make it bold, and with this change it to italics. And also you can add animation from here. And take a look on the right side. It's the list of all elements using in this video. You just need to select a single element. Let's change something. You can see the option background tap on it. 
Now background is selected and now arrange it. Now, let's add a video, tap on this video icon. And in this video section, you can use that videos which don't have iStock watermark. Because for using iStock watermark, you need to buy the premium subscription of it. But most of these are free to use. Let's add a video which don't have watermark. Select the video and drag it to the timeline and paste on the top of a scene. And adjust video and tap on the option add. But for now, I will skip it. Now let's add an image. Tap on this image. You can also search for an image like I am searching for it. I searched and here are my search results. For example, I want to add this. Tap on it and arrange it by yourself. After arranging it, now time to add music. In video has royalty free music, which you can use for your video, just tap on this music and select the mode according to your video. And here is list of music. Tap on the music and drag this to the timeline and you can see the music has been added in video. Now let's learn about this voiceover, automated text to speech. Import from uploads. You can import file from your PC and also can do record the voice over here. And here is the icon text. These are pre-made text with selected fonts. Tap on it. Drag and drop this text on video or to the timeline and it will be added in video. Now arrange it wherever you want and you can also edit it by yourself. Just tap on it and change it. After editing, let's download it. You can see the option on the top right. Tap on the option export. But if you don't have the subscription, then you can only export video in which you use two stock footage. If you have the subscription, then you can export a video by tapping on the option export. Then this video will be downloaded in your PC. So it was the way by which you can use in video for creating video for YouTube or for other platforms.